In the previous video we were making the second step of practicing this piece, adding internal singing and uh, feeling of weight to our playing. And today we are moving to the next step, imagining those in tempo and harmony with movement. Uh, the task here is simply, simply <laughs> playing both hands with correct wrist and upper movements while imagining every single note in timbre and harmony with movement and glissando in between notes and internally seeing intonate uh, transferring free body energy while playing. So harmony is for controlling better our tone and touch. It affects our internal singing and reaching our intonation. You can feel it through singing a single interval. Uh, let's say first, let's take C. I'm gonna sing in the color of C major. Then an A minor. The same way it will affect uh, our internal singing and touch because the internal voice will be changed according to the harmony color. This is very important to remember because this is where all this expressiveness comes from. Now you can watch my playlist titled The Piano Well Program to know and study this principle thoroughly. So let's take um, a closer look at this step. So what you need to do is to get together notes on every, let's say, beat or well, whenever the harmony is changing, leaving out all the clashing notes. So that would be our harmony chord. So for example, here we have not just E minor, but it's the C. Oh God, <laughs> that's all about that C. with the harmony so there is nothing to be left out also what you need to do is while holding the chord on the pedal listen to the harmony sand getting its emotional color I really like this word sand because it's really like a it's hard to describe you know you cannot say it's just a certain like color yellow gray, red. It's really a scent that you can just somehow perceive through the sound. So, while listening, try to get the description like lighter, darker, brighter, softer, open, tense, consonant, dissonance, happy, sad. And let's take a look at the first one. So it could be E minor. So E minor for me is quite dark. I mean, for me A minor is lighter than E minor, but yet it's not that dark as, for example, D minor <laughs> or C sharp minor. Okay, so A minor, but he also adds the C, which gives you this beautiful, singing, painful sound sent to that harmony. So. Now go to the next. How dissonant and painful this is. Next kind of resolving softly. Again, this is also more tense, but not that tense as. Uh, 
painful and very harsh for me. And again to noble major. After that, oh my god, we are like in heaven, G major. But yet again we're going to pain. He's ending this F. spoiled this is just out <laughs> this is amazing and again resolving This is interesting because even though he goes with um, crescendo, but some pianist might play diminuendo here. I actually also wanted to play diminuendo because basically what is happening here is this is more intense, then it goes less intense and less intense. There are some highlights. Let me just open the score. Oh god, it's gonna take again a while. Okay, I'm gonna try to make it quickly. Mm, just wanted to mention this, for example, here on the third line. In this bar, on the third beat. I absolutely lo love how he collapses and crushes this. G sharp and G together. For me, it's like the first sign of while well, getting out of this world. You know, when something that seems to be solid stop being solid, and you see it's like flickering to something else. So this major. One, two, three, four. On the fifth line in the third bar, he make before he going out <laughs> to the to the dream angel world. Over here, he does the same E sharp and then E major right here. Together, it sounds just uh, again out of this world. flickering changing and he going to another world for some moments <laughs> anyways if you go through all the harmonies here you will discover the whole new meaning of this nocturne <coughs> as i always say about it so um where should i go okay mm, ah yeah here now, so after you listen to the harmonies, you are going to imagine every note in the center of the harmony. This is how you do it. While playing, so imagine notes in a chord in timbre and harmony with movement while holding the chord on a pedal. So you hold this chord on the pedal. While holding it, you imagine every note that is out, that belongs to this chord in the chalice, in this color, 
of harmony again with movement and glissando. So this is how your uh, exercise should look like. to color your imagined notes in harmony. <coughs> After that, you can try to do the same without holding the chord on the pedal. So you just play it. Remind yourself the color of harmony. And then in the silence, you imagine the notes in cellos, harmony with movement and glissando. Okay, <laughs> I know it looks a bit weird, but that's how you work with harmonies. And after this, you can try to make it in one line. So you basically play the chord on the pedal in the silence. Imagine this part uh, of notes that belong to this chord in cellos with harmony. This is how it looks like. So this way. And uh, now about playing. So there are going to be two, two stages. <clears throat> if you're not really fully solid and settled with sensation of internal singing and weight, then just separate it. First, just imagine notes, imagine cello, harmony, movement, play it. Glissando to the next note, cello, harmony, movement, play it. Move your wrist elbow. This is what you do first. And then you add intonation. So, <clears throat> again, the same way how we did in previous lessons. So, you imagine again. And while imagining, while internal singing, <laughs> you imagine this under to the next note. It's all in the timbre of cello and harmony with movement. While internal singing, imagine this under in cello and harmony with movement to the next note. While internal singing, <laughs> you understand. So this is how it looks like when I'm playing with um, imagination of timbre and harmony with movement using internal singing and weight. might take a couple of days or a couple of weeks for you to make depending on your abilities to imagine sounds 